This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Good morning to you. Kentucky will play Vanderbilt tonight at Rupp Arena. Head coach John Calipari yesterday in Springfield, Massachusetts, watching a bunch of his recruits in the Hoop Hall Classic. Among them, Jalen Brown. Look at him, pulling up from three. He's 6'7". Small forward out of Georgia. Good look there. Later on, watch Brown. Oh, the dribble behind the back. And he misses, but he gets his put back. Brown scored 31 points. He would foul out. Ivan Rabb, the other recruit on hand, 6'10 out of Oakland, California. Rocking the rim. He takes the pass, gets loose inside, and slams it. Then off the miss, Rabb goes in. He's able to get the put back. Rabb finished with 24 points, and his team beats Brown's team and Wheeler 79 to 70. So like I said, number one Kentucky opens as a 22 and a half point favorite tonight over the 11 and 6 Vanderbilt Commodores. Tip time set for 9 o'clock inside Rupp Arena live coverage on the SEC Network. Duke head coach Mike Krzyzewski going for his 999th win last night inside Cameron Indoor Stadium. The fifth ranked Blue Devils taking on Jamie Dixon and Pittsburgh. First half, Quinn Cook. Rack them. Four players in double figures for Duke. Cook had 11. Later, Rashid Suleiman dials it up. You can rack him too. 13 for Suleiman. Still first half. Man, I went in this action too. Justice Winslow. Blue Devils shot 47% from three. Duke led 41 25 at the break. Second half, Jaheel Okafor. Big time freshman. Layup and one. Coach K gets his 999th win, 79 to 65 over Pittsburgh. Division1Baseball.com comes out with its preseason poll yesterday. Eight SEC teams in the top 25, three in the top five. Vanderbilt and Florida are ranked number one and number two in the nation. South Carolina at five, LSU at nine, Texas A&M at 17, the Rebels of Ole Miss at 18, and then Alabama at 20, and Tennessee comes in ranked 25th. Kentucky not listed in the preseason poll. All right, now to some high school hoops. The East Ridge Lady Warriors will play in the All-A State Tournament next week, but a few more 15th region games before heading to Frankfurt. Coach Campbell and East Ridge at Allen Central last night taking on the Lady Rebels. Let's go first quarter. Tamara Thacker from the wing. Good. Ridge by four. Later, Kelsey Parsons. Top of the key. I don't think she really calls this, but... It counts. It's all good. She gets a smile out of it and cuts the lead to one. Lady Warriors back on the break. Katie May to the assist. Emily Tackett, that is freshman to freshman. Still first quarter. This is Alyssa Moore weaving in through the defense and scoring. Allen Central up by one, but Eastridge, it came to ball. Thacker to May, layup good. Eastridge wins, and they are now 14-5 and five on the year. Heather Thompson had to tie her shoes multiple times last night. She had lots of laces and shoe props. Jackson City at Hazard, third quarter. Brittany Barnett, splash. Tie game at 41, Barnett had 24 points. Right before the end of the quarter, Destiny Walker knocking down the J. She had six for Hazard, fourth quarter now. Off the miss, Hannah Webb, strong put back. She goes for 15 points, under 15 seconds to go now. JC down two, they need a bucket. Haley Turner, the put back, she scores and we're tied at 61. Let's play extra basketball. Go to overtime. Morgan Robinson. Look at Hazard. Working the ball around. Robinson goes into Webb, and she scores. Lady Bulldogs win 67-65. to A new number two in the boys' Alice Lloyd College Mountain Top 10 this week. But as always, let's start with the ladies first. One, two, and three stay the same. Bell County, Southwestern, and Leslie County are the top three. Not Central keeps winning and keeps moving up. Lady Patriots now at number four, Shelby Valley five, and then Clay County, Letcher Central, Harlan, Breathitt County, and Powell County round out the top 10. The Lady Pirates have won four of their last five. Now to the boys, not Central, still the unanimous number one team in the mountains on the boys' side. Clay County jumps up to number two after Southwestern drops two games in a row over the weekend. Warriors at, now at three, and then Perry and Sheldon Clark round out the top five. The only undefeated Team left in the state is Williamsburg. The Yellow Jackets come in at six in the Mountain Top 10. Buckhorn at seven. Lawrence drops to eight. Whitley nine. And Knox Central down at 10 now. And that is a final look at sports this morning. Enjoy your morning.